Hi everybody and welcome to a new weekly vlog. It's been a while since I've picked up the camera. But today is a very special day. It's Bo's birthday. Ta-da! He's three today. Yay. Can you believe three it? Three years old. Yeah. Happy birthday, Bo. And it is, I'm just looking at the cam at the time, the, the clock. It's half past three. So Hi. I've been working. Matt's been working. We've just been shopping. So there you go. We've got some, some food in and I'll... Turn around and show you what we've got. And I've also ordered some new glasses. It's all been going on. I'll tell you about it in a minute. Okay, so here we are. That's obviously my workstation. Sometimes I do work at the island. Um, so this is our little food hall. We've been to Morrison's. Now, these are emergent for emergency use only. Emergency milk chalk ices. Um, so they will come out when we do actually need them, won't they? <laughs> There's also emergency Cadbury's cream eggs as well. I don't even like cream eggs. Well, I know, but you never know when you might need one. We've also got some eggs. I think that the chickens must be back after all that bird flu because there's eggs again. Now, we've at uh, £1.90 for these asparagus tips. Do you want to tell everyone what we're making tonight? We're making a Nando's. Yay. We've got pita bread. Yeah, we've got pita bread. We've got some salads going though. We're going to make some peri salted chips. Yeah. We've got some butter, potatoes, milk, some protein yogurts. Uh, Matt's got vanilla. I've got a coconut, a raspberry, and a peach and passion fruit. Uh, we've got some big bag of cheddar. It was on offer. Oh, and this. It's a, it's a flam and some cream. So, and some crumpets as well. So, there we are. Hello, sweetie. It's your birthday, isn't it? It is your birthday. Yeah, I know. I know. Should go and take a look out. Oh, no, it's raining. I want, I've bought some plants from Morrison's. They've got all their, all their plants out. And um, I wanted to go and pop it in the garden. Well, two of them in the garden. But it's raining. Oh, no. So, so, no, you won't be allowed out, sweetie. Look. Look at the rain. I know. You have to wait. But just look at those daffodils as well. And then we have Rory over here. Hello, sweetie. How are you doing? Yes. So, oh, no, it's raining. I wanted to go out there and plant. You'll have to wait now till tomorrow. Look, it's gone really sunny, but it's also raining. You aren't... I know, it's fooling you, isn't it? Because it's it's sunny, but yet it's... Wet. Well, shall I show you? You aren't going to like it. You aren't going to like it. Look. There you go. Have a look at that. See, it's, it's raining. You you definitely won't like that. Will you? No, I'm going to shut the door. But there you go. That's what it's like. Not very nice. So we're going to close this door, aren't we? Yes, we are. And then we're going to... Right, I'm going to tell you about my new glasses. So I had my eyes tested a few days ago. And we've just been today to go and actually choose the glasses. My eyesight isn't that bad. It's only gone down by half a by half a point on each prescription. So it's changed slightly, but not a lot. All my eyes are okay. There's nothing wrong with them inside. It's all fine. I'm also going to try for the first time contact lenses. Um, they've ordered me the really wet ones because of the dry eyes. Um, and I will only use them, I think, when I'm making videos, just so you don't get the glare in the glasses um so i can try those mostly my mostly for my royal reviewer channel on there um now i don't some some good news i do not have blepharitis yay um i have dry eyes so basically um it's the first time i've actually been seen by a person about the eye trouble uh, the last time i was diagnosed by a doctor it was over the phone during lockdown um so no, no, it wasn't in lockdown, but it was when they were still restricting um, in-person doctor visits. So they diagnosed me, diagnosed me with blepharitis over the phone. Turns out it's not. What I've got is very dry eyes uh, that can be caused by lots of screen usage, that kind of thing. Um, so he said, on a scale of one to ten, I'm a number five. So moderately dry eyes. I'm doing the right things by using the day gels and the night gels and the, the eye drops and that kind of thing. So I've got to carry on doing that. Um, but it's good news, I haven't got blepharitis, so yay! Okay, so it stopped raining for me to come out. I'm not going to plant them today, but I thought I'd show you anyway. So these, these I've been after some magnolia bushes. I'm, I, I really love a magnolia tree. 
But anyway, these are an outdoor shrub magnolia from Morrison 699. I think this is a real bargain. I've got two different ones. There's Magnolia Solgiana. Hope I said that correctly, but just look at that gorgeous flower. Flowers early spring, full sun or part shade, height five meters. So it grows quite big, you know. Um, yeah, spring to May. It, uh, May. it won't flower probably in the first year, but that's okay. We can wait. Uh, upright tulip like flowers, pale pink, purplish bar through each of the petals. Ooh, sounds gorgeous. So can't wait for that one. And then this one is Magnolia stellata. And I know you can get that in tree form as well. So height two meters. So again, quite big. Um, pretty much the same kind of thing it's hardy the strap like slightly scented pure white petals open to form a loose star shape in the early spring so they look really good um this one's in a slightly better shape and health than this one but that's okay because i can just do a little bit of light pruning and then i think we'll be okay do you want to tell everyone your tip for homemade fries? Well, it's just something I remember reading online, is you soak them in some water and wash them in some ice water once you've chopped them. Oh, it's cold. And then pat them dry. Oh, so there we go. Apparently they'll be really crispy. So that's, that's All of that is literally, um, was it four of those potatoes? Yeah. So it's like two potatoes each. But there's quite a lot of fries, but that's okay. Yeah. And we're going to air fry them. We are. We'll be yeah. good eggs. Go. And we're sprinkling on the Nando's Peri Peri salt. So it is like their Peri Peri salted chips yeah. <laughs> or fries, if you like. I don't know how much you're supposed to put on. Neither do I. So we'll <laughs> yeah, give it a mix. They are going on. So we've mixed. Well, Matt's mixed the spices. It's the garlic. What's it called? The garlic. Garlic. Just garlic. But it's the Nando's one. Yeah. So it's the Nando's garlic um, powder what, coating, whatever yeah. it is. Anyway, they we've done it in the bag. So you can cook it in the bag, but we found that with the air fry, it didn't really work very well. No. Um, so we put them on like this. I suppose anything that's left, we can just sprinkle on the top, can't we? Mm. Is there anything in the bag? Oh, wait, see, there you go. So you just sprinkle it on. And it'll get the ones that don't have a lot on. Yeah, and then it, it'll all be very nice. Yummy. Well, I'll show you the fries as well. So we decided that we needed two trays for the fries, but, <laughs> but there they are. Bearing in mind that is only four of this size potato. It looks a lot. Oh, I'm going to do the asparagus. My job is the asparagus. I'm going to fry it in a bit of butter and garlic. Yummy! We have the Nando's chicken. Woohoo! Now the fries, I think they need a little bit less time because they're yeah. a little bit crispy, but they taste less. really, really nice. But there we go. There's the chicken. Yum, 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 yum. And the pit is overstuffed and it broke. But look, doesn't that look like... It, I think it looks like Nando's. Well, it tastes like Nando's. We hope. I don't, look at my gorgeous asparagus. I cooked that. I stirred it by hand. Woohoo! Hello, you. Right, by the way, it is Friday. So welcome to Friday. We've been joined by the cats, uh, minus Molly, who is over there in the corner. And we've been to a Morrison's. We have. And we've got a very nice meal for tonight. We saw an offer. We've got chips. Well, this is part of the meal. So what was it? Six ninety nine. Yeah. And so. you get um, some sea salt crackled, cracked black pepper fries and... A twin pack of steaks. Yeah. Twi look at those. So that's really good. So we're going to have those and we've got some bits to go with them. So we're going to have some mushrooms. These are the, these are the big, uh, large, flat mushrooms. We've got some green beans, which I'm going to do in butter and garlic. A tomato to do like a fried tomato. And some onions. And some onions. So so yeah. Fridge. And what else did we get? Milk. Yeah, we got some milk. Milk. Some oaty milk for Matt. More this breakfast. is Glebe Farm. Breakfast for breakfast me. Breakfast. So Matt's been having these Belvita's soft bakes. Mm. Strawberry filled. Are they nice? They are nice, actually. Mm. They keep me full and full. Oh, and Matt's had a little triumph. He's oh, got into some jeans. These jeans? Yes. I bought them just after Christmas. I can only get the button to about here. And now they're fully oh, now they're closed. On. And they're comfortable. There we go. And yeah, I'm going to show off my legs. So it's all, about, it's all about fitting in the jeans, isn't it? Got some two packs of roast chicken breast, five slices uh, for lunch meat. 
We're going to use the, we're going to cheat and have some crushed garlic for the beans. Some tomatoes for lunchtime. Some, 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 some tiger things. rolls over there. What was on the pack? Just like a little thing. I think something's Oh. Uh, mayonnaise. Yeah, no, this is actually really good. The Morrison's cheap savers mayonnaise is actually quite good. So yeah. don't be put off. A, cl a normal garlic, which is there. A tomato sauce, which you can see there. Oops. Oh, yeah. So we've got some... Matt likes his, his spaghetti loops. And I like my tin of small beans. And a tomato puree. And that's it. Now, let no, me... That's not it. Oh, what else is... Oh, yes. Uh, I forgot about our fish. This was on offer as well. £2... Pound, what? £2 something? £2.50. Some pepper sauce for tonight's uh, steaks. And then your transgression. Oh, oh yeah. Now, these are for Maureen. She said, make sure you get a 10-pack of Cadbury's cream eggs because she wants one a night to suck while she's watching the TV of an evening. That's what she said she wanted. So we had to get one of those for Maureen, didn't we? Now, let me tell you all about today's weather. So it's been proper April showers, even though we're still in March. At the moment, it's been sunny. I wanted to go out today and garden. I've been wanting to garden for days so I can finish off my March gardening vlog, but it didn't happen. So instead, I did, I did a live chat on my Royal Reviewer channel. Um, so that will be up. You can catch up on that one. No, I'm not, I'm not going to let you two out because these two want the door open and we've just put the heating on so we can't let all the heat out. And you've, you've got clean trays as well, so you don't need it. No. Uh, but look, all the daffodils are out looking really love, lovely and gorgeous. And we've got Molly down here having a bit of a bath. We'll preserve your modesty, lady. So yes, looks time to put the shopping away and enjoy the evening. We are cooking dinner. Now, it shouldn't take too long to do. So Matt's chopping some onions. I think we're going to have some onions with it as well. Yeah, some fried um, onions. And I've looked at the packet. I didn't realise you had to mix it with milk. <laughs> um, but anyway, you do. You have to mix it with half a pint of milk. So I've just measured out a half pint of milk using my beautiful a jug that's got lots of different things like fluid ounces and milliliters and grams and all sorts of things in it. So I quite like this jug. I inherited this one off a relative. Um, but anyway, you mix this whole packet in with, with um, half a pint, which should be 300 milliliters of semi-skimmed milk, which that is. And then there you go. That's the peppercorn sauce or pepper sauce. We are going to obviously do the beans in one of the pans over here. We haven't decided which one we're using for what. Um, and then that should be sort of everything. Matt's doing a wiggle. Aren't you lucky, everyone? You've got a wiggle. Got a wiggle out of me. Ah. There we go. The onions are frying. I think we're going to, going to be doing them caramelised as well, so a bit of brown sugar. I've chopped the ends off these beans, so I'm going to fry these in this pan with some butter and some garlic. Yeah, it's looking really good. Yeah, I've started my beans. There we go, the butter is melting. And I'll give it a really good mix. There we go, got the steak going in. Or steaks going in. They're quite sizable, they're quite good for yeah, money, really. Bad. Look at those. Wow, look at all this. Matt's just tried the peppercorn sauce. He doesn't like it. I'm not a fan. He's not a fan of peppercorn sauce. So well, I'll have a lot of that. So, oh, does it look gorgeous? Look at those mushrooms going on. And the steak is cooked really nicely. We've got the tomatoes. Wow, just look at all of that. <gasps> wow. What a gorgeous day. And then we've got some fried onions as well. Yeah. Caramelized onions. Wow. Where are we going to put those? <laughs> in the middle. In the, in the middle, okay. Every, every gap is filled. Oh, yes. <laughs> we have every eventuality is covered. Look at that. This is the perfect Friday night thing. Ooh, yummy, yummy. There we have Matt's without peppercorn sauce, and there is mine with peppercorn sauce on the steak. Yummy. Ah, Bo's got some new food. So he didn't like the last lot we got, but he does really like this seriously good bistro, don't you, sweetie? Right, we've just been shopping. I bought some um, some new topiary trees. But just ig ignore these. They had they had some donuts, 
so you know Maureen wanted some so we had to get her some of those we're having a steak and ale pie for tonight's dinner so that'll be nice um, we're going to have it with some ready-done potato, carrot and sweet mash. And we've got some ready-made mashed potato because we're not feeling particularly good today. No. I think we might have a bug or something. We do. We're not feeling very well. <laughs> oh yeah, and Matt's brownies. So, although I've still... <laughs> Hello you. I've still got work to do, haven't I? I need to do a Royal Review, a live chat about all the Sunday goings on with the Royal Family. Um, so once I've done that, I am going to get my garden vlog edited. And then that's it. I think I'm going to have a bit of a, a rest and relax. Oh, yes. We also got some new cat treats. These are called Nibbly Bits by Cat It. Um, we had them from Pets at Home. And Bo really wants one. They're a bit like a bit like beef jerky for cats. Um, can we get into it? Oh, no. Bo's like, quick. <gasps> there we go. Should we try you on, on a Nibbly Bit? Let's try Ooh, one. It smells fishy. Oh, oh, it's like it's, it's apparently an it's. Fish. Oh, but it's wrapped in chicken. Yeah. Love so, Oh God. So hang on. Let's have a look. So they are cat it nibbly cat treats, ocean wraps, whole fish wrapped in real chicken breast. So we got these because they might take a little bit longer to eat than a dreamy. And he's not very keen on it. I don't think. I don't know. Hmm, I don't think he knows quite what to do with that one. What do you think? Oh, <laughs> it is literally a fish, isn't it? Mm. No, I don't think he knows quite what to do with it. <laughs> oh, there we go, I think we're getting the hang of it now. Oh, there we go. So, from B&M, we also bought four of these beautiful books as trees. And they were only twelve ninety nine each, which is quite cheap compared to the normal regular garden centre. So, it's that time of the year where you can start looking out for the bargains that these kind of cheap discount stores have. And Bo's having a really good sniff, aren't you? Because they do smell quite freshly cut. The smell was... Uh, <laughs> the smell was quite strong in the car coming home. So Bo is having a real good sniff. Look at that. Well, hey. Mm -hmm. So it's time to cook the pie. I'm also making some tea. We've just premiered the uh, March Garden Tour vlog. And it's been a while. It was like nine days since we put something out on the channel. Because we've been so busy with other things. Don't so. talk to me about my yeah, Matt's Matt's going to get back to vlogging on his I channel. Am going to try. <laughs> it's hard when you work a full time job. Yeah. Um, so just expect vlogs when you get them, yes. basically. So make sure you're subscribed to it yes. and, so, and hit that notification bell. So then you'll get notified whenever Matt finds the time to make a vlog and put I one know, out. I do need to get into it. I do promise to get back into yeah. it. Yeah. Difficult when you're working full time at the same yeah. time. No, it is. Else. It is. We, we, we all are busy in our own ways, aren't we? Yeah. Um, like I say, I've been so busy recently on the Royal Channel. It's coming up, of course, to the coronation. So for me, on my Royal Reviewer channel, it's a busy time and there's lots of speculation and things going on. So if you are interested in the British Royal Family, do go and take a look at Royal Reviewer on YouTube. If you didn't know... Well, it's my main channel, so... <laughs> I've got over 140,000 subscribers on that one. Uh, so if you want to know all things royal, do go and take a look there. But for now, we're having pie. We're doing parsnips. So we've got carrot and sweet. Yeah, you, you and saw mash. all of this. And we're going to use the air fryer. We are using the air fryer. It's really, really yeah. good. Um, and I'm making some tea because we deserve it. Oh, yeah. and we're still using the Miami mug that we picked up on the cruise. By the way, if you haven't seen our cruise series yet, our first Virgin cruise, our, in fact, our first cruise, do go check that out. There's a whole playlist. Here we have the finished, din the finished dinner, minus the gravy, which is just about to come. <laughs> so we've got the pie, we've got the parsnips, although we did forget to put the oil on them to begin with, so that only went on halfway through. So they look a little bit dehydrated, but they'll be well cooked. Then we've got the veg, and then we've got the carrot and sweet, and we've got the potato, yummy, and the gravy's coming now. So Matt's decided to make his own gravy. Yeah, it's always nice. Yeah. 
Yummy, yummy, yummy. And then we're going to watch Married at First Sight Australia, the previous season. <laughs> uh, that's what we're watching at the moment. So do let, let us know in the comments section, what are you watching on TV right now? Do you have any recommendations for us? We've finished The Handmaid's Tale, so that's all done. Uh, what else are we watching? Uh, we've still got The Last of Us to finish. Oh yeah, still got that. And what else are we watching? That's kind of it at the minute, really, I think. Yeah. Um, so yeah, recommendations, welcome. It is the 27th of March and it's a beautiful, gorgeous day. In fact, it's a day I cannot resist mowing the lawn today. I've got to do it. All the dew has all pretty much gone off the grass. Um, so it's really good conditions to give everything a really good mow. I think I showed you these cone shape um, trees that I bought. They really are a bargain. I think they're roughly about £30 each normally in the garden centres. I think I may have said that yesterday, but they are fantastic. I'm, we might pop back and get some more. In fact, I told my mother and I think she's going to get some as well because it's a fantastic bargain. So if you're in the UK, check out your local B&M just in case uh, or any other discount store, to be quite honest. But I placed them... When we bought them, I didn't know where they were going to go, but I've placed them where I think they will look really good. So I think we're going to, they will go in the ground. Um, so they need to go there. I think they kind of frame the steps quite nicely and we'll have the other two over here by the other steps. So I think that will look really, really good. I mean, they look good just in the pots already. Um, now, someone did tell me from my previous gardening vlog what this is. And I think they are correct. Um, I think it's a clump of forget-me-nots. Now, you can divide these up. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I don't think I want those in this position where they've sprung up. So I think I will dig them up. I think I will divide them. And I think I will replant them in the front garden under the hedge. I think they're a much more sort of woodlandy type plant. So this board uh, I want to keep very much for perennial you know flowers I, I want some nice flowers so the forget-me-nots will move but i'm not going to get rid of them <laughs> oh no also i've decided now um on where we want the greenhouse base and i think i've decided on the greenhouse as well so um the next step is to get this enlarged it's too small i want to be able to walk all the way around it and i can't at the moment uh, so the greenhouse is going to be six foot wide by ten foot four um depth so this needs to be enlarged quite a bit in fact i think it needs to come out to roughly here from where it is at the back to about here and it needs to be as wide as probably over to like where that first post is there so it does need to be enlarged quite a bit we do have the slabs to be able to do that. So I don't think I'll have to buy many more slabs apart from maybe some more of these, but we've already got some spare anyway. So things are looking quite good. Bo's outside, he's been enjoying the sun. I just can't get over these spring pots. These spring pots look so gorgeous and the tulips are coming as well. So it's all looking really, really good. Molly's outside too, that's always a good sign. That the weather is getting a bit better because she's a fair weather lady you don't see her much in winter but she comes out of hibernation on a good day on a fair day it's molly's thing so <laughs> so there and she likes to sit on this piece of wood as well on this sleeper she rubs her face and yeah she has a good old time when she is out but she doesn't come out often when it's bad weather <laughs> The rose walk is looking really, really good as well. It's just nice to be out and it's just so sunny and gorgeous. Um, so yeah, I mean, as you can see, the, the box trees are going to look really, really good in this position. So I might even get those in today if I'm feeling ambitious. So yay, very, very happy. Okay, I've just made a sandwich for lunch. I've made one for Matt as well, but he's gone to the gym. Um, so I am going to mow the lawn today. I've decided I'm going to just bite the bullet and do it. So these are tiger rolls. I've put some beetroot, tomatoes. I think it's um, turkey, slice of meat and some salad cream. And that's, that will be my lunch. Uh, and then hopefully that will be enough to get me through mowing the grass.
Okay, so that is the first cut done. I did try it on the setting that I last had it on <laughs> when I did my final cut, um, just, just in the autumn, and it wouldn't push through. I mean, if you look, it actually sort of tore a little bit up. So I had to hire it on the highest setting and just really take the top off. So on the time lapse, I've just reviewed the time lapse. It doesn't look like I've taken too much off. So really, all I've done is just take the tops off. So the next time I do it, next week, I will lower the lower the mower by one notch so it'll get shorter and shorter over time but we quite like it a little bit longer anyway because the cats like to kind of stalk through it and that kind of thing it has uncovered a few little circles here where i need to um put some seeds some grass seed on i think these are where rory actually goes to the toilet in the lawn so i need to cover over his wee circles his crop circles we call them so i will just put a bit of soil with some seed and then that will that will grow over. But actually the lawn is not looking in too bad of a condition. I think Bo's just had a wee over there. Um, the lawn's in not too bad of a condition. It's still very, very green for this time of year. Um, so it's not too bad. There you go, Bo's just covering over where he's had a wee, but he's not done it in the lawn. He's been a really good boy. <laughs> um, I'm not gonna mow the front lawn because it's got all those bulbs coming up. There was a few bulbs coming up here, but I don't want those to come through. I do want it to be a lawn. So, my next job of the day, I think, is to plant the cone trees and move whatever is in that spot. So, let's see if I can get those done. Okay, so I'm now going to start to plant this. So, I think I've got, uh, obviously that is a muscari, I'm not bothered about that one. But I think there is one of my plants I bought from the nursery last year, just starting to come through here. So, I do need to move that one. Um, so I need to dig that up first and I'll put it in the truck. Right, so I've just taken up the plant that was there and I've moved it and planted it all the way down the back over there where I am. Well, I definitely know that I am one short. I've taken up all of the forget-me-nots here. So I'm going to divide these up and plant them under the front hedge. And I'm now, I've lightly turned the soil over, I'm now going to dig this one in. And there we have the first one in. I think that's going to look really, really good. And I've also left a little bit of room to grow as well. Right, so I've got my forget-me-nots. I now need to divide them into smaller plants. So I reckon, for example, this clump here, I reckon I could get about three or four decent sized plants out of that one. And then I will just put them all along this hedgerow here and just see how they do. And right next to the primroses, I think that'll be quite a nice look. And there we have it, they are in. I now just need to give them a really good water and then that's it. I have moved also all of the forget-me-nots to the front garden. I didn't get to divide that clump into four. It really made about two. So we'll see how they go. They'll all get a nice water as well. But just look how nice that makes that look now. It just kind of finishes that off. And over here as well. I just think it makes a nice entrance to the garden. There we are, all looking rather good. 
Okay, everything's just had a really good water and we have Harmony with Molly and Bo. This doesn't happen often. They had a little fight, a little skirmish earlier. <laughs> it's like a very love-hate relationship with them, but yet they can sit nicely as well, just like this. Good boy, good girl. <laughs> okay, so thank you for watching this video. Everything's watered and I've given the pots a bit of a water as well. So as I said, thank you for watching this video. If you have enjoyed it, then please give it a big old thumbs up. Don't forget to share on social media. And of course, do hit the bell so that you know whenever we upload a new video. So from us to you all, by the way, Matt's working. Goodbye.